Builder Hall 7 is finally here. Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and thank you so much for tuning in. The Builder Hall 7 update stream has ended and this is what we were able to show off. We have the new Builder Hall 7. It's amazing, guys. I mean, look, look at this. Look at this. It looks so, so nasty in a good way. It looks so dangerous. The, the way everything looks, the new level 7 defenses. We've got our giant cannon. We've got the drop ships. It is a massive, massive update, and I really like the balance. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at attacking with the new troops. Obviously, we're going to look at the, uh, the drop ship. We're also going to look at the new levels. Level 14 of Barbarians, Archers, Bombers, baby dragons night witches and everything else so without further ado guys let's actually get in and let's hit that attack button and see who we find i'm hoping if everything works out correctly that we will find chief all right chief is who we're looking for right now and there we go class versus chief chief is chief is here on my phone so let's do this let's start out with the drop ship Dude, we're, we're just gonna try out some spam attacks to try out and see what is going on with builder hall 7 and of course we want to grab that um we, we definitely want to grab that builder hall so i think staying away from the air bomb might be our best bet and coming at this base from the bottom and from the left let's just try some spam stuff huh let's just try some spam there we go and then we'll send in our battle machine here at the end once there is a nice funnel. But notice the drop ship, guys, level 14 drop ship. And um, as you can see, it doesn't drop b uh, bombs, as you guys probably saw on the Builder Hall 7 update stream. Uh, but by the way, if you have not seen that, I will be uploading that to my channel in a, hopefully in a few hours. And, but guys, look at this. The drop ship dropping these skeletons everywhere. Can you get a two-star with just solid straight up... Uh, drop ships. I mean, I doubt it. You know, that's 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 uh, they always try to uh, to balance this this thing to where you can't just use one troop and three star so or two star with the uh, builder hall. So let's just see how things turn out. Looks like we're down to only a couple of drop ships. These things are tanky though. I don't know if you've if noticed. And by the way, that giant cannon. Watch this. Oh, giant cannon. Oh. <laughs> That, that is so fun. I can't get over that. That is so much fun to watch. But All right, so we're seeing a giant cannon pretty much ruining the damage of this dropship. I don't think we're going to be able to get the two-star using only the uh, the dropships. But we do have this level 15, brand new level 15 uh, battle machine, which is going to be able to do a lot of work. And by the way, look at this. The air bomb's doing so much damage to these dropships. Have we even gotten close to destroying? No. That is, that is it. All right, so the... Oh! Yes, the crusher went down. Okay, so now can we get the battle machine down? That would be, or not the battle, the builder hall. Let's go. Battle machine is down. Let's pop his ability here. And of course, he's level 15 now. Whoa! Did you guys see how much damage that giant cannon did? It's crazy. Oh my goodness. He's not even going to make it to his next ability. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Wow. All right, so it is proven, those dropships are amazing, but it's proven that you actually have to have some strategy, and you can't just spam the dropship everywhere, and uh, let's see if we actually won, I'm pretty sure we did here. Yes, we won a victory against Chief, who did not even attack, because I didn't attack, so let's try that again, okay, let's gem our stuff up real quick. And uh, that should include the battle machine. Let's try it again. But this time, let's try out the Night Witch. Let's try out the new level 14 Night Witch, guys. Enjoying the new troops. Uh, again, obviously, you have to have some strategy involved. You actually have to be trying to think your way through. But right now, this is just a standard base. Again, we matched up against Chief, which is on my phone. And just, uh, just, just, just mentioning... This is actually uh, on the development build. This is on the Supercell private server, in other words. So, all right. So, here we go. We are going to attack this base now with all level 14 Night Witches. Let's see how we do. All right. And I'm going to do it like this. I'm just going to... Uh, you guys have seen this. Put the Night Witches on the far end of the base. And uh, and, and then just watch them. Because those... Uh, those those bats have all the time in the world to go through and to wipe out stuff before the witches get to the base and start getting wrecked by ground targeting defenses. So, uh, very, uh, <laughs> this is Night Witch 101. And of course, we're going to save our battle machine for the end once again. But that, uh, that giant cannon needs to die before because the, obviously the giant cannon is a big problem for the, uh, for the battle machine. And look at that multi-mortar is down. That's perfect. And these got, wow, they wrecked that, uh, that crusher very nicely. Remember, we got about a 45% on the, uh, with the drop ships. Let's see what the Night Witch can pull off. 
Uh, again, Mass Night Witch, you probably shouldn't be using Mass Attacks at all. But this is kind of like a test for us to see if any troops are OP. Dropship obviously is not OP, which is good. You know, you want to have a good balance in these attacks. So uh, if these guys are, wow, they've already beaten, they've already beaten the dropship. These Night Witches are actually pretty powerful, making the way around the base. The biggest enemy for a Night Witch is a ground targeting defense. So it looks like the Witches or the, <laughs> the uh, Bats are doing a good job wiping out these defenses here. And there's a couple of them up here that continue to spawn uh, bats toward this roaster and this air bomb. So it looks like, uh, oh no, the bombs, the bombs and the roasters. Oh, oh no. Okay, well, excellent percentage in comparison. So let's see, can we maybe get this battle machine to go directly at that, uh, I, I mean, let's try to get this uh, battle machine to go directly at this builder hall. All right, let's see this. And by the way, let me show another feature of this giant cannon. The giant cannon is going to get very upset here in a moment. And then I'll show you guys, if you didn't see it in the stream, I'll show you here. This giant cannon does a ton of work. Remember, this is a mass, a max level seven giant cannon. It's a monster. Watch this. Battle machine comes through. He's got a second ability and I'm gonna pop that right as soon as he gets to the wall here. Uh, just to make sure we get as much damage as possible. So there we go. And look at this. Look at this. The ball. It keeps going. It's going. It never stops. It's so awesome. I think it slows down and it keeps going. So, yep, that battle machine. You you cannot go. You have got to make sure that you destroy that giant cannon. Otherwise, it's going to wreck your battle machine. That is definitely the number one priority here on a Builder Hall 7 base. So, while surrendering on my phone here, let's see. Do, do I want to rate Clash of Clans? Never! All right, so... 58% one star, not bad. Let's try something else. Let's try maybe the... I don't know. What, what should we try? We just try... Let's try that famous combination, the Giants and the... Uh, the the uh, cannon carts. That's a real common uh, combination right now. We'll try... We've got five army camps now for Builder Hall 7. So let's try three... No. Yeah. Let's try three army camps of giants and two army camps of uh, uh, cannon carts. I think that'd be a good idea. And uh, Chief, where you at? Where you at, Chief? Come on, buddy. And here we are. Okay, Colossal Chief. Excellent. So let's do, again, three units of these max level 14 uh, giants. And let's also try the cannon carts. And then, of course, we've got our battle machine as well. And I'm going to go directly at the same side. Let's see if we can beat that 58% that we got a minute ago. So uh, giants are down. Let's do it just like so. Let's get the cannon carts down there. And then the battle machine. And oh, my goodness. The, so the giant cannon actually works its way through other troops. It can hit multiple troops. Even if a giant is up in front of the cannon, it's going to get destroyed regardless. That is rough, man. That is terrible. Uh, but the good news is, I think we're going to be just fine. I think we're going to get into the score. We might actually two-star with this uh, giant cannon cart combination. I, I'm not entirely sure. We need to definitely get this giant cannon down. Come on. There we go. Giant cannon is down. Now can we survive and get it? Come on. Come on. No. Come on. Oh, just uh, so close. That was so close. Okay. Well, that is not OP either. And again, that's a good thing. We don't want to see any three stars with mass troops or, you know, just one spam army. I mean, it's going to take some strategy apparently to get to that builder hall. So this is actually really, really good. But an awesome first look at some of these troops. I want to try one more army. Uh, or maybe two. Let's try two more armies. 48%. So that was definitely not the best. Uh, so let's uh, let's close out of here. Definitely got the victory once again. Gaining loot like crazy up here in these uh, this trophy level. And hit that here. We'll go ahead and gem these down. And let's try it again. I've got two more armies I want to try out. You know, the Baby Dragon Minion army that is a very powerful army it's been powerful since the beginning of builder hall when baby dragons were released so let's see how it does this time and um well no, you know what let's try let's try the baby dragons all right we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a long video today we're gonna do a long video multiple attacks trying out all of these new troops so as soon as we get the matchup i'm thinking we'll go with the let's do mass baby dragon let's see how those level 14 baby dragons do against this default builder hall 7 base here and uh searching for him we're not we're not that far apart guys let's go come on chief yeah see searching searching let's go there we go and yes klaus and chief nice all right so let's try baby dragons level 14 nope not a bomber there we go and there we go okay baby dragons let's see if we can 
do pretty well with this this time. And I'm going to use my battle machine early, but I'm going to stay away from that giant cannon as long as I possibly can, as you may understand. So let's put down a, uh, let's put down the battle machine here, pop his ability, baby dragon, baby dragon. And we're not going to do a mass attack where it's like we're at the whole base. We're going to still try to get into this core here. So level 14, baby dragons, one of my favorite troops in builder base. Let's see if we can actually get through and, uh, and get into the center and get that two star. That's what we're aiming for right now. That would be nice to be able to accomplish today. So, there we go. Battle Machine getting through the wall once again. We've got our baby dragons um, locked onto. And uh, but Tesla's going down. The roaster's going down. Let's get that air bomb down. Come on. Oh, man. Baby, uh, Battle Machine, I needed you to go into that wall. What are you doing to me, man? What are you doing? Wow. So, we're actually doing a decent job. Let's get rid of this Tesla. Let's get rid of that crusher. And um, lastly, you know what would be really nice is if we could get that baby dragon to take out the giant cannon. If we're able to do that, then we might have a chance at doing fairly well. Baby dragons are really, really good, it looks like. And it uh, looks like the baby dragon, we're gonna, we got one left, so we really need to get this battle machine, or the, the builder hall. I don't know why I keep messing that up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. All right, it's a race against the clock. Come on, come on, baby dragon, come on. Yes, yes. Yes, and we leveled up, level 55, boom. Yes, there we go. So, 69% to start using Mass Baby Dragon. Is Baby Dragon the best troop so far for Builder Hall 7? I don't know. Of course, combining troops might be a little bit better, but there we go. 69% to start, the best we've done today. And let's try another army. Let's try... I don't even know yet. Let's see. We've done Baby Dragon. I've seen people use Mass Minion. Let's try that next. Let's, let's try some Mass Minion army. And then the last army we'll try out is going to be either Mass Barbarian, because that Barbarian rush is legit, or we'll throw in some bombers, maybe some archers, and see if we can do one better than 69% two-star. Uh, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed so far with certain troops. Obviously, the Baby Dragon, I do enjoy the dropship still, especially as you guys noticed on the live stream, if you combine the dropship with minions, it actually works out pretty well, as well as, of course, the typical Baby Dragon minion combination. Uh, but um, we're about to see how the minions look at level 14. And, of course, we've got to find our match. Come on, guys. Let's go. There we go. All right. So, Klaus and Chief once again. And this time, we're going to try out these lovely level 14 beta minions. We've got ourselves five army camps, 10 beta minions per camp. That's 50 beta minions. And I'm thinking we're just going to drive straight at this base with just some mass beta minion. And, of course, they've got an extremely long range at level 14. So, we're just going to deploy all right here. Very, very spammy. All right. Very spammy. A uh, couple of finger deployment here. Just like so. Let's get these guys in. They're going to be... This is a uh, spam attack 101. If we three star with this, there's something wrong. But okay, let's see. Let's get. Um, I, I really don't want to put my battle machine down until we are able to take out this giant cannon. That giant cannon is deadly against that battle machine. And uh, hopefully, we can get some work done here. Looks like they're doing a decent job. We have, um, you know, 33% of the base, 37% of the base is down already. Giant cannon is going down. Oh my goodness. That is good news. That is great news. Can we get the air bomb down? That's going to be the biggest problem. And, oh my goodness, that, the air bomb is wrecking right now. How about the multi-mortar? Oh, the multi-mortar is down. This is great news, guys. This is great news. We might do better than 69% two-star with the beta minions. And that is actually very impressive because we're already at 60 uh, 4% and there's really not a lot of air targeting defenses up there. So let's get this battle machine in now and send it. Let's send him right at the battle or right at the builder hall. Pop his ability early because why not? No reason not to. It's not like it wastes shots if you pop it early. You can go ahead and do it anytime. Level 15 battle machine and there is no giant cannon to kill it. So that's really, really good. Now, can it, can he get in there and get to that builder hall? That is the big question, guys. That is a big question. I guess I could pop his ability early. One more for that to get through that wall. Baby bombs not gonna do any good. There's a roaster and an archer tower on us. How does this level 15 battle machine handle the roaster level seven and the level seven archer tower? That is the question. Let's pop the ability once again and see what happens here in the center. And remember, this isn't a wonderful base. I mean, this is a decent base, but not a not a great base. But 
it looks like based on the clock I think we're gonna be just fine what I mean by the clock is the battle machines health in comparison to how much is dealing I think we're gonna be just fine that Tesla is doing a lot of work though oh my goodness well there's the two star 72% using beta minions what in the world all right, and I think this is going to be it for the battle machine. Yep, that is it. So there you go. The level 14 beta minions are amazing. Maybe that's the next meta. I don't know. But 72% two star, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Of course, we got the victory once again. And let's uh, clear up here, gem everything down. And let's try one more army. Let's try a barbarian rush all right you guys saw in the stream some of the best attacks were using barbarians so let's try it let's try three camps of barbarians let's try some bombers and then of course we want to bring some archers for the you know just in case you know you need some archers in your life of course so as soon as we get as soon as we match up i don't know what the deal is it's like there's nobody else on the server right now but uh oh yeah oh yeah this is gonna be good Barbarian Rush, 72% two-star is the mark to beat. So far, the minions did the best, un unbelievably. So let's see. Here we go. Klaus and Chief. Again, let's bring, not giants, let's bring three groups of barbarians, 20 barbarians per army camp. We could technically have 100 barbarians. You know what? I think that would be more fun to watch. Let's try out 100 barbarians. All right, let's do this. So, oh, man, but, but the crusher. Okay, we've got to stay away from the crusher here. That, that would be... Deadly stuff if we did not. Oh, there it goes. Accidentally clicked. Okay, well, that's good. I was trying out the uh, mass barbarian anyway. So we're going to slowly work our way through here. Let's pop that dude's ability. Let's also start trying to get through the wall here. We don't want to spam too hard because you never know where the bombs are at. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. And then we need to get these bar, but we still got 47 barbarians. This is crazy. So many barbarians. Take out the firecracker and then get everybody in there and take out the core. That's the big thing. Uh, battle machine is in. Looks like we're going to wreck this uh, builder hall. Come on, come on. Get it, get it. Oh, that giant cannon is crazy strong. All right, so let's grab this. Let's save a few barbar barbarians just for the sake of percentage. So there it goes. Level up again. Level 55 again. Interesting. Okay, and then let's uh, let's just clean up some percentage and see how we do at the end of the day. That giant cannon is destructive against air attacks or ground attacks, guys. That, that giant cannon is, is legit. I recommend if you go to Builder All 7 to upgrade that baby as fast as you possibly can. All right, and then that'll do it. A 66% two-star. That's really, really good with simply 100 level 14 barbarians this has been a blast guys i know we didn't take a look at the archers but we did um you guys saw them in the stream again oh wait 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 chief is not attacking chief is just sitting there looking at nothing so let's go ahead and close out of there and guys that is going to do it for today a sneak peek a look at some mass attacks in builder hall 7 we're likely going to see uh, some changes before the update goes live it's probably going to go live fairly soon and of course i i love the way this looks guys the dark the dark sheen of the crusher and of course the gold accents especially look at that air bomb that gold ring around the, the outside is very very nice so I love the Builder All 7. I think the, the balance is very nice. You're not going to have too many ties. You're not going to have too many tight three stars. It's um it's going to be it's going to be a blast, guys. And I cannot wait to play it on my actual account. As again, this is on the Supercell private server. So, uh, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Learn something. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you've not joined the class family. And of course, share this video with your clan mates and your friends and family and your dog and pet and whoever else. Um, as we take a look, a first look, a sneak peek at Builder Hall 7. Thank you guys. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see y'all again next time.